respected listeners and viewers assalamu alaikum today i am going to talk about the un dp report box number box number 56 which is in the undp report of 2002 about the human development of arab countries in which few sayings of the hazrat imam ali ibn abi talib alayhi salam have been referred on the topic of work and knowledge the these extracts have been taken from the najul balagha in which they have referred six sayings of hazrat ali alayhi salam they say they have referred the first saying of <coughs> hazrat ali alayhi salam that no vessel is limitless except for the vessel of knowledge which forever expands it means every vessel has a limit which can be filled but the vessel of knowledge cannot be filled because the more knowledge is filled the vessel of the knowledge increases so the expansion of the vessel of knowledge is limitless provided we keep on earning and gaining knowledge the second saying which has been referred in the undp report box number 56 is if god were to humiliate a human being he would deny him knowledge it means if knowledge is taken away from a person community society it means the god wants to humiliate that society person or community therefore it is the knowledge which gives the honor to the society country and personality the third saying is that a person is worth what he excels no wealth can profit you more than the mind no isolation can be more desolate than conceit no policy can be wiser than prudence no generosity can be better than decency no heritage can be more bountiful than culture no guidance can be truer than inspiration no enterprise can be more successful than goodness and no honor can surpass knowledge it means the good qualities and knowledge can surpass all the problems and open all the gates of success for an an individual a society a community a country then the fifth saying which has been referred in this report of hazrat ali alayhi salam is knowledge is superior to wealth knowledge guards you whereas you guard the knowledge and wealth sorry knowledge is superior to wealth knowledge guards you whereas you guard the wealth wealth decreases with expenditure whereas knowledge multiplies with the dissemination the more knowledge is disseminated the knowledge is increased but the more wealth is spent it decreases so knowledge increases with the dissemination of its uh, of the knowledge a good material deed vanishes as the material resources behind it vanish whereas to knowledge we are indebted forever thanks to knowledge you command people's respect during your lifetime and kind memory after your death knowledge gives a person immortality he may be physically not available he may die but he whatever knowledge he has disseminated will keep him alive in the society so therefore 
the memory of the person will remain in the society with the knowledge knowledge rules over wealth those who treasure wealth perish while they are still alive whereas scholars live forever they only disappear in physical image but in hearts their memories are enshrined the scholar may not be present physically but his memories will remain in the minds of the people therefore knowledge gives immortality to any person the last thing about knowledge which has been referred in the UNDP report is that knowledge is the twin of action he who is knowledgeable must act knowledge calls upon action if answered it will stay otherwise it will depart means knowledge needs action if we keep on acting on the knowledge it will remain but if we do not answer the questions of the knowledge knowledge will depart so therefore it is a duty of the every civilized society to try its best to gain the knowledge and once the gain is knowledge automatically society will gain everything apart from this hazrat ali ali salam has said one thing more which i would like to refer here that if you have everything but you don't have the knowledge you will lose you will lose everything and if you have knowledge and you don't have anything you will gain everything so one should always try its level best to gain the knowledge with these words i thank all of the my viewers and listeners <clears throat> and request all of them to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon salamun alaikum thank you very much